Hello, hello, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of English no Kuro Haju. Happy, well, we are recording this on a Sunday, but happy whatever day it is when you are listening to this. Happy December. Happy December. <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm here with Alexia. Alexia, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm happy. The last month of the year. The last month of the year? December? The last month of this decade. Yes, the last month of the decade. My goodness. Did not even think about that. It's weird. It's weird. It's crazy. We should probably talk about that. But today we are talking about something similar, related, perhaps. So, Alexia, recently I was not even reading a book, but just kind of skimming a book. Do you understand that word? Looking through and browsing. Yeah. Yeah. Dando uma folhada. Yeah. Just. Paging through, flipping through, but it was a book called Future Boards. Actually, I believe it was called Hashtag Future Boards <laughs> by a lady named Sarah Centrilla. And honestly, I don't really, really understand what the book was about. It was kind of about vision boards, like writing things on a whiteboard that you want for your future. Mm -hmm. Do you know what those are? Yeah. It's just uh, like the episode from, from Queer Eye that we watched that had that Japanese guy with the whiteboard and all his goals and everything. Yep, yep. When in doubt, just make a comparison to Queer Eye. <laughs> I like it. So anyway, in this book, she has a lot of questions that you are supposed to ask yourself so you can plan and kind of visualize your future a little bit better. And she had this interesting dichotomy, kind of distinguishing between thinkers and dreamers. Okay. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting because I think I am a thinker and a dreamer. And then she asked a lot of questions and I thought it'd be fun to talk about it on the show so we could learn more about one another while everyone also learns some English at the same time. <laughs> What do you think? Perfect. So... With which kind are we starting? Where are we starting? I think we should start with the thinker questions because that was the order in the book. So how about this, Alexia? You ask me a question. I'll try to answer it. If we want, we can talk a little bit extra. And then after that, we will change and I will ask you a question. Okay, perfect. So can I start? Sure. So the first question is, do you like to make a plan before taking action? <laughs> Do I like to make a plan before taking action? So within that question, I think there's the question, do I take action? <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You have to take actions during the days of your <laughs> lives. Yeah. So do I like to make a plan? This is complicated for me. It's a little bit yes and no. But in general, I would say yes, but it really depends on the action. Yeah, but I think that that's a way that you should go because, I mean, if you need to take action, it's because it's something big in my mind. So if it's something big, you need to make a plan. Yeah. yeah. Or a small plan, you know, like whatever is the next. Yeah. So the way I see it is with things, for example, like work or projects I really like to have a plan because I like to know what I'm doing. But if I'm traveling or something like that, I like zero plans. Yeah, but for example, if something happens to you during your travel, if during you, your trip, your Ooh. trip, for example, if you get robbed or like your passport is gone, mm -hmm. you need to make a plan to take an action. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, yes. different situation. But just to explain really quick, Alexia said during your travel. So, in English, travel é viajar. Trip é uma viagem. Yes, that's a beginner's mistake. But, come on, it's Sunday morning. We just came from church. <laughs> Sunday morning, rain is falling. And I'm really, really sleepy. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes. So, Alexia. My sweet, sweet Alexia, in general, 
would you say that you are pretty organized? Yes. <laughs> yes. I am organized. Male deus. Okay. Defend yourself. Well, when I'm at home, I like to organize the groceries. I like to organize everything in the kitchen. I know where everything is at. I like to organize my dad's life. I like to organize my life. I like to organize our work life. Okay, so when you hear the question, are you pretty organized in general, what do you understand by that question? Because the way I was seeing the question is more or less like, are you clean? Like, do you have organization in your bedroom? I am. Not when I am with my bags here and I need to to organize from my <laughs> bags and I don't have space to put my clothes. I feel no. like our bedroom's always a mess. No, it's not. In any place in the world. You are disorganized. I am not. Okay, the point of this is just to understand if we are thinkers or dreamers, <laughs> not to try to... There's no criticism here, me uh, <laughs> Yes, I think we are organized compared to... Oh, compared to Bruna's apartment. Poor João Marcos. João Marcos is the one who organizes <laughs> everything. João Marcos. If it was only Bruna, it would be a huge mess. Her closet is a mess. And someone else as well that we know. So I think that comparing to them, we are organized. I am organized, but I could be better at this. Okay. I don't want to compare myself to other people because comparison is evil. Okay. And let's wait for you to compare the next time. So I'll say the same thing. Okie dokie. So can I ask you another question? No, it's my turn. Oh, sure. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Do you think buying a lottery ticket is a waste of money? Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to elaborate? Yes. I think I am very strongly against the lottery. I think it is the stupidest shit ever. I get so, so angry with my dad and your dad. <laughs> They both buy the lottery ticket all of the time. And it makes no sense at all. <laughs> the odds of winning the lottery are very, very slim. But you do remember when my dad won a little bit of money, but he did. Yeah, but still probably with all the money that he spent in his life, it probably evens out. And there is a lot of research that suggests, and I think it's just natural humanity, that if all of a sudden you win $37 million, you're not going to be happier. <laughs> all of your relationships are going to be messed up. The lottery is stupid, and I think it is really just tricking predominantly poor people into giving their money to other people. I think it's very, very messed up. I do not think it's a good way to spend your money. Okay. Next one, please. Does that make me a <laughs> thinker or a dreamer? <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question, Alexia. <laughs> so many good ones. So many good ones. Do you have a hard time... Getting excited about or taking action on something that is outside of your comfort zone. Yes. Okay. And please do you elaborate. Have a hard time getting excited or taking action. Yes. First do, of all, do you have a hard time doing new things that make you uncomfortable? That is the question. Yeah. Yes, I do. Explain yourself. But I think that everyone does as well. Everything that it's new scares you a little bit and scares me a little bit. So I don't know how to... Speak for yourself. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think that it's not knowing what's going to happen and how the person or the, the situation will behave and what's going to happen back to you. Yes, of course. I get anxious. But it's... But I do it. I get anxious. I get scared. But I do it. I need to. Okay. Cool. I think that was a good answer. Yeah. Can I ask you another related question? I think this is a better one. Okay. Does failure scare you? Yeah. The idea of failing. Yeah. Okay. Can you give specific examples? No. No. Uh... Are you scared of... 
Okay, so every time that we launch a new product, right? that we what? <laughs> I'm not taking critics today. Very good. You're not taking critics today. Very nice criticisms. Today. Yes. You're not taking criticism. Today is not. <laughs> You're in a bad mood today. I think that it's I'm really sleepy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's say, are you scared about the fact of? Making mistakes on this podcast, where a lot of people can hear you. No, I'm fine with that because everyone is learning with me, and no problem at all. Are um, you scared about failing in our business, and no one will listen to our podcast anymore, and then we won't have money to eat and live? Of course. So you're scared of that failure. I, I'm scared of, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want to ask me one more thinker question and then tomorrow we'll do the dreamers? Oh, do people in your life who dream big scare you a bit or make you anxious? <laughs> Was that the one no. that you just asked, asked me? No, I'm laughing at the question. So the question is, do people in my life that dream big? Yeah. Scare you a bit or make you anxious? No. Honestly, this is going to sound so narcissistic because it is. But honestly, I don't think there are many people in my life that dream big. I think that my dreams that are mm, predominantly in my head and I don't tell them to anyone, they are so much bigger than the dreams of the people surrounded by me. Except for you, of course. <laughs> I'm not saying that my friends and family are not ambitious or anything like that, but it no, I don't see their ambition or their dreams as intimidating or anxiety provoking, nothing like that. No. No, me neither. I think I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I'm just a dreamer, but I'm hanging on. <laughs> Though I have nothing big to offer. And this is the tallest man on earth. This is Foster Hodge from Inglés No Cruhaju, and we will be back in your earbuds tomorrow talking about dreamers. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.